Ed Cole's designs did not stop with General Motors, no. After he left GM, he went to another iconic car company. And the car he built there, one of the most recognizable ever. I mean, this car never looked old. You know why? Because it never looked new. People, I am overwhelmed. Because we are at one of the greatest car gatherings in the world. No, this isn't Pebble Beach. This isn't the Goodwood Festival of Speed. No, this is bigger. This is the International Convention of Checker Car Owners. That's right, checkers as far as the eye can see. Well over eight of them. Man, stop pretending you don't know what a checker is. Come on, this is a checker cab. Everyone's ridden in a checker cab. These things have done over a million miles in New York City. These things are indestructible. We love checker cabs, and it is absolutely one of 101 cars you must drive. Performance? Let's talk performance. Zero to 60? Who cares? Performance for this car is a million miles at 30 miles an hour with never breaking down. I mean, this car has features designed for the city, particularly if that city is New York. Check out this bumper, huh? No high-tech aluminum, no flexible plastic. This is good old-fashioned iron designed for hitting small children. Now check this out back here. Oh, here's a feature you might not find in any other car. Feel that? That's bulletproof, people. That is a bulletproof barrier in the back of your car. <laughs> You're not going to get that in a Prius taxi cab. Now, everyone thinks Checker only made cabs, but that's not true. They made ordinary cars that civilians could buy. I mean, they even made a station wagon. Nobody knows why. So you saw this sitting in the field, and you said, you know, with a couple of years' work, hundreds of hours of labor, thousands of dollars, I can make a marathon checker station wagon look like new. Better than new. Why this? Why not, I don't, 63 Corvette. Now there's a car you restore. There's lots of those. There's none of these. Okay, as you can see, only crazy people are allowed to own checker station wagons. Now here's another specialized checker. It's called the Metacar. You know why? Because it's designed to carry two wheelchairs. This is my friend Jim Hope, and he owns the Metacar. Now, tell us a little about this, Jim. Okay, you can uh, you can take the front seat out, and you can actually put a stretcher on one side and a wheelchair, or you can put two wheelchairs in. All right, so this car was actually designed to carry victim of, of accidents with other checker cars. Yes, sir, and it has okay. a siren on it. When you open the door, you put... Wait, let's on. back up and hear that again. It has a what? It has a siren on it. So All right, you... a siren on it as opposed to a siren, which is what they use in the big city. I like Jim even better. <laughs> now, you think these checker guys aren't crazy? Here's an example of something gone horribly wrong. Just take a look at this. What were they possibly thinking? Now, most checkers had a straight six, and some had a V6. Doug, what do you have under the hood? A uh, Chevy 350 V8. 350 Chevy V8. So this checker hauls, basically. 245 horse. Okay, how much horsepower you got going on here? 350. 350 horsepower in a checker. It's right out of the box. Wow. Look at that. That is a motor. The newer models got this big bumper. The older models have the chrome. This is a four-door sedan. That's a station wagon. All right. That's about 90% of their production. Do you notice he pointed out the difference between a sedan and a station wagon to me? Well, thank you for, for educating me. Get him. Who let him in here? Well, this is a 1980 Checker. It was designed by a guy named Marvin Winkoff uh, in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And what Winkoff did was uh, this two-tone paint scheme, and then he would add the uh, Landau top and an opera window, and uh, custom interior, leather interior, and then the uh, knuckles uh, type rims, vintage for the area. This car is truly pimped out. And check out Jim's hat. You have to have a pimped out checker just to wear that hat. Gotta be cool. Hey, Mac, I got a cab here. See ya. All right, I am now officially living every New Yorker's dream. I'm in the front of a checker. What's this I, worth that I'm driving, Jim? I wish. I'd call this one about a $10,000 car. All right, $10,000. So you spent $25,000 restoring a $10,000 car. Jim, you are brilliant. So can I pick up people and just charge them money just for riding in the back? They say one of the reasons checkers stopped making cars is they couldn't meet 80 safety regulations. But that had to be safety for the other guy, because I'm telling you, this thing is a tank. 
Well, checkers are one of the most uh, ruggedly constructed cars on the road. Rugged construction. That's putting it mildly. I could ram a Hummer in this thing, and I'd like my odds in the checker. <laughs> Listen, we want to thank the Checker Car Club of America. As a matter of fact, we got the president of the club here. Come on over, Ron. How you doing? Thank you for having us. And oh, by the way, which, which car is yours? Uh, I don't have one. You don't have one? I don't have one. The president of the club does not own a checker. That is all you need to know about the Checker Car Club of America. And that is why it is one of 101 cars you must drive. Ron, get out of here. Go buy a car. OK, thanks. The Checker cab had a pretty nice run. The last model of Checker lasted 20 years. But you know something? In England, a 20-year-old taxi? Well, that's just getting broken in. With all due respect to Checker, when we come back, we'll take a drive in the world's best taxi. That's next on 101 Cars You Must Drive.